Hey guys, and welcome back with Kat. In today's episode, I'm gonna share with you how simple and easy it is to make this cheesy baked eggs, and how you can do this at home too, courtesy of Joni Zisk. I found this recipe and figured I had to share it with my carnivore family, so let's get to it. So one important thing to have in order to make these cheesy goodness is you are gonna to wanna to have a ramekin. So what I have here are nine ounce ramekins, but you can have anything between eight to 10. And these were super cute. They were fairly cheap. They were about like $2 at the Walmart. And it is from the Pioneer Woman. And they have various colors, but I like things pretty simple. So I got the classic white color. Feel free to grab a screenshot of this recipe as I go through the steps with you in just a moment. Hey, it's me again. I <laughs> just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your support and your continued views. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so we can continue making it grow. All right, back to the video. So what's really great about this recipe is that this is all for a single serving. So if you're anyone like my boyfriend who does not like leftovers and he considers leftovers anything you put in the refrigerator. <laughs> but if you don't like leftovers, you don't have to worry about making a lot. Now, if you want to, you can always double the recipe, of course, but this is all for a single serving, so you should be good to go with this as your first meal of the day. My first step is to preheat my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's go ahead and set aside our ingredients. I'm using Redmond's Real Salt to set aside about 1 8 of a teaspoon of salt. Let's also set aside our heavy whipping cream. This is the Maola whipping cream. I don't know if that's how you really pronounce it, but I love it because there are zero carbs in here. So I'm doing two tablespoons of whipping cream. We also can't forget about our eggs. Now look, I know shredding your own cheese can be the bulk of the work for this recipe, but hear me out. Anytime I've looked at shredded cheese at the store, there always seems to be added preservatives. So here's an example of a bag of cheese that I have. So what I don't like about shredded cheese, and you can find this in any bag of shredded cheese, regardless the brand, but there's gonna be potato starch in there, there's gonna be anti-caking agents, all types of preservatives, and it's really to help keep the cheese fresh and it's helping the cheese not bind together and get all clumpy. At least for me personally, I do not mind taking the extra five to 10 minutes, whatever is needed in order to shred my cheese. I'd rather do it by hand than know I am ingesting things that I don't necessarily want. <laughs> so my advice to you is take the extra minutes and shred your own cheese and you'll thank me later. All right, so next I am going to grease up my ramekins. Now you can do this with butter, but it's easier for me just to grease this up with some leftover tallow that I have. Now you can do this with lard as well, but the reason why I, I save my leftovers is it makes for an easier experience when I'm either greasing up my pans or in this case, the ramekins. So you see, I'm just gonna grease up the insides. That way our eggs do not stick to the sides of the ramekins. I remember when I was little, my mom would always bake cakes and my job was to take a stick of butter and to butter the bundt cake pan. That's what she loved to make were bundt cakes. She still bakes today and it's delicious. From what I remember at least, I had to give those up. But I feel right at home greasing up some bakeware. Just like that. So for the cheese blend, I like to mix it up. You can of course use any cheeses that you prefer. I just did a sharp white cheddar and I did some Parmesan. 
So we're gonna be needing three tablespoons total. So I'm doing two tablespoons white cheddar and one tablespoon Parmesan cheese. By the way, cuteness says hello. <laughs> Say hi. Thank you, thank you. She hears my parents arriving, so she is a little on edge about the sounds. Yeah. So if you hear her, apologies, she's just doing her job. <laughs> Our next step is once we have all of our portioned ingredients, we are going to mix it all together. I start by my two eggs and whisking it with my heavy whipping cream, followed by adding in my salt and then my three tablespoons of cheese. Now, once you get a good mix in, go ahead and pour the contents into your single ramekin. And feel free to continue this process over and over again <laughs> until you are satisfied. I ended up making four total. Last stop is in the oven. So these guys are gonna be cooking for approximately 21 minutes. Who's ready for the grand reveal? You guys, this smells amazing. It looks incredible and I guarantee you it tastes incredible. And I'm back. I gave my cheesy baked eggs some time to cool down at least five minutes after taking it out of the oven. And the funniest thing is, as I watched it raise in the oven, I was getting so excited because it was blowing up like a balloon, but sadly they have deflated. But that's okay, because the presentation is still super cute in these ramekins, and I bet you what counts is the taste. So <laughs> let's try it out together. I am going to choose this guy. He looks perfect. As you can see, they do move around in the ramekin. And because we put tallow in our ramekins, like this thing is moving around. So I can easily take this out of the ramekin if I wish. So I'll show you what that looks like. Ay, que lindo. <laughs> so cute. So I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. This is excellent. Excellent. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what's really great is not only is it delicious in its simple form, but now my mind is opened up. You can add chicken in here, sausage, you can add in ground pork, whatever your heart desires. And this doesn't have to be a meal on its own either. I can easily picture this being on the side of some kind of meat but it's so good. Mm, mm -hmm. All right guys, thank you so much for sticking with me on another video and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.